Have you had your fill of Harry and Meghan yet? Now, I know there are a lot of people who are feeling rather Harry and Meghan out at the moment. Well, brace yourself, because in about, about 10 days from now, Harry's autobiography will be released, in which he will once again wash his dirty linen in public and show great disrespect for his family, and the headlines and the TV news will be full of it. So, let's ask, what exactly is going on here? A lot of people are inclined to put the whole blame on Meghan. They think she's got Harry hypnotised. Uh, they think Harry has got the IQ of a sea anemone and she is just, he's just being led around by the nose and has no real idea of what's going on. But I think that lets Harry off far too lightly. Let me suggest to you that he is a young man relentlessly driven by resentment. And the title of his new book, this autobiography, out in a, a week and a bit, tells us about his resentment because the book is called Spare. Now, that refers to an old saying that applies to any royal family, and in fact to all aristocratic families, that the role of a wife is to produce an heir and a spare. That is, to give birth to a first son, to be the heir, to the titles and whatever goes with the titles, and a second son who will be the spare in case something happens to the elder brother. Now, there are earls in Britain today who never expected to be earls, but were thrust into the role because an older relative fell under a bus or whatever. That's the whole heir and despair idea. And for Harry to call his book Spare shows us he is obsessed with this fact. What that book title tells us is that he deeply resents, and apparently has resented all his life, the fact that he was the second born, that he's not the heir and he will never be king. Well, resentment is a bad thing to build a life on, but it's looking rather as though that's what Harry seems to have done. He chose to marry a woman who would feed and support this resentment. He's chosen to publicly criticise his family for treating him as the spare, not the heir. I mean, what exactly expected his father, the King Charles III, to do? I can't imagine. I mean, declare both his sons legal heirs? Declare that on his death they would share the throne? Um, to declare that son number one, William, was out of the running and make Harry the heir instead, because only something as dramatic as that would heal the resentment that seems to be eating up Harry from the inside. And, of course, none of those moves are legally possible. Uh, King Charles, Prince William are bound by the laws of England and the law of precedence, just as Harry is. It's out of their hands. And that leaves Harry in much the same position as the late Duke of Windsor the man who, very briefly, was King Edward VIII and who abdicated, giving up the throne for Wallace, the woman he described as the woman I love. Dickie, as he was known in the family, lived the rest of his life in resentment at not being king. I think he had apparently believed that Parliament would change the law as it then stood and allow him to marry Wallace and remain king. Didn't happen. And the rest of his life was consumed by a destructive cancer of resentment and bitterness. Sadly, Harry is quite possibly choosing to go down the same path. But if he does, it's his own choice. So perhaps we shouldn't blame Meghan quite as much as many people are keen to do. And what do you think the future holds for this couple? Where do you think their lives will be in five years from now or ten years from now? They have given up royalty for celebrity. And celebrity is a notoriously fickle thing. I mean, most celebrities have something they can do to earn their place in the celebrity circuit. They can sing or they can act. They're pop stars or movie stars or, like the Kardashians, big TV stars. Harry and Meghan only have one profession, attacking the royal family. That's it. That's what they do. It's all they do. But that's a career that can't last forever. When they've dug up their last piece of dirt, done their last piece of mockery, their career is over. What do they do then? I mean, they might reinvent themselves, but their future looks fragile to me. Will King Charles II strip them of their titles, Duke and Duchess of Sussex? I don't think so. I think Charles is going out of his way to avoid being publicly negative about his son. Rather, he is behaving quite graciously towards them, considering the way they behave towards him. And King Charles is focused on monarchy, not celebrity. It's clear that he's focusing on the long term, the bigger picture. Celebrity comes and goes, monarchy is in for the long haul. So, no, I don't think he'll strip them of their titles.
So, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> what does that mean for Harry and Meghan? It means that, just like the Duke and Duchess of Windsor before them, they might end up with titled but empty lives. Any life built on a foundation of resentment can never be a happy one.